baby squirrel? No, it's a mouse. It's a mouse? Why are you holding a mouse? Uh, Mara found it. She caught it? Well, he was just playing with it. She was playing with it. Are you sure it's a mouse? Where are its little mouse ears? It's a big mouse. Oh, in the field. Pet mouse. So I'm heading outside now. I just put Ellie down for her afternoon nap. It's pretty bright, actually. Uh, I got some spoiled raw milk and uh, an egg that had some hairline cracks in it. So the chickens will get that. Oh, Trent's playing music. I'm like, what is that noise? So he's been working on moving the fence so that way we can put a garden in. So we have Amara eating a bone she found. What you got, Bug? A bone? That looks like a ham bone. A couple of the chickens are out. Chicken, come on. Come on, Miss Leghorn. Go back in with your friends. Go on. Let's go. No, Clarice, Lucy, you stay. Come on, Miss Leghorn. Stay back, girls. Can they get out over there or not? Huh? Oh, come on, girls. Let's go back. Okay. Leghorn, go on. Miss Leghorn, go ahead. This way. Go back with your friends. No. Why are you doing this to me, Leghorn? No, this way. Back in the gate. Go. No. Hedwig. You've never been out. Don't make it a habit. Hedwig. Go back in your pen, Hedwig. You can't go that way. There's a door. You dingbat. Hedwig, come on. Back out the way you came. You're a smart girl, Hedwig. Or maybe you're not. Pippin, stay, Pip. The progress. Taking this gate down. Now the baby monitor here. Looks really good, honey. It's an owl. Has it been going? Any problems? You probably don't know what to think. This is all going to be our new garden. So it looks a little rough right now, which is why we're going to bring the tractor in to till it, the big white. Probably we'll put our uh, pallet cucumber trellises that we're going to be making, uh, which is an idea I got from the Stivers homestead uh, over in this kind of weird area over here. That's kind of an odd shape. It just sort of goes into a weird corner over here. So I think we'll try to concentrate them over here and then, you know, we'll put like an actual, the rest of the garden in. Uh, the chickens are very confused, I think, by their new enclosure, which they've only been in this pasture for like few days now, five days maybe tops, but now they've got a new run area. And I think it moved like a centimeter. What do you take him out with? <laughs> then the ones you put in, you mean? Yeah. Why are these the original ones that were here? Yeah, it's not happening. Get her out of there, Mama Duck. Tell her, say, get out of my pen. I would come out if I were you, girl. You're making those ducks mad. 
Come on. <laughs> they want you out. Come on, chickens. I'll back away. Come on. Come on, girls. Not you, Clarice. Oh, my goodness. Hey, don't touch that. Leghorn. This is where the cows used to be when the previous owners had the place and we're just going to leave this fence up and reinforce it on the off chance we do get goats in the near future we have an existing pen that they cannot get out of. Yeah, I forgot how to use this tool when I was doing all those ones. So what were you doing? It just came back to me. Oh. You bought that specifically for that, right? I just can't remember how to use it over there. Being a dumb dumb. So you do what? Well, this is a bad example because where that crossbar is. Hmm. I did every one of those wrong over there. So you only do one side? Yeah, one side hooks. Bring it over. Nice little pocket. It's been over. I've seen anybody do it. It seems like it works really good that way. Looks a lot better than why I was doing it. So when we first moved in, we had this rooster named Buddy who came with the farm and he was a lone rooster and uh, he was nice for quite a while. That's why I named him Buddy. He was my buddy. He was just nice and relaxed and we got him a bunch of hens and he was super happy because he'd been alone for who knows how long. And then Buddy got really mean and he just started vlogging us. And if you've never been around roosters, especially large. I mean, Buddy was a very large rooster. Churchill, our Labrador Orpington, is a very large rooster. And it is pretty intimidating when a rooster of that size comes after you and tries to spur you and kick you. And they have huge wingspans and they're just enormous and they're really scary. So I kind of made it from day one a rule. Like I'm not gonna have a mean rooster on our farm. I don't want a rooster that I always have to watch that I'm worried about keeping my back turned because you know I, I don't want to not be able to go freely in and out of my chicken pen and be worried about what a rooster is going to be doing. Now there are certain situations when a rooster is protecting his ladies and you know doing his roosterly duty uh, that I'm okay with. Um, if you, you know, grab a hen or something and he kind of gets upset and ruffles his feathers at you, I think that's okay and I'm not going to, Clarice, get back. I'm not going to hold that against him. However, if a rooster is just, you know, attacking you for no good reason at all, um, I do have a problem with that and I just don't want a rooster that uh, comes after me. So Churchill is kind of on his last legs here. Um, he's definitely gone after me quite a few times now unprovoked and after Trent. So we've certainly discussed butchering him and being done with it. I did try to sell him and put him on Facebook and uh, I didn't have, oh shoot, dumped my water. 
I didn't have any interest in anyone purchasing him. You know, he's a beautiful rooster. He's definitely um, fertile. You know, we hatched seven eggs that were fertilized by Churchill, but I just want a nice rooster. And if we have to keep going through roosters until we find a nice one, I'm okay with that personally. And Trent is too. We just don't don't like being attacked by a rooster. So at this point, Churchill may still wind up as a soup bird. Another beautiful egg basket today. 20 chicken eggs. I'm going to go check the duck pen over here and see. We decided to let our Muscovies go broody if they want and hatch eggs. So, hey Malfoy, a big drake here. Let's see if somebody's in here. Oh, there is a mama duck in there. I don't want to disturb her. Doesn't appear. Yesterday there were 10 eggs. I can't tell. I don't see any chicken eggs, which is what I was looking for. So I'm just going to leave her. We did have a Muscovy trying to go broody um, a few weeks ago, but she just didn't really have any eggs. She had like one egg, so we kept taking the eggs because it was a little too early in the year. Too cold still, but it's supposed to be warming up. And we discussed it and thought, at this point in time, ducklings are more valuable to us than duck eggs when we're already getting so many chicken eggs. So um, we're just going to let them collect eggs. My mother-in-law had the idea of marking the eggs and then collecting the new eggs after a certain point. So we may do that. And that's the sound of Ellie waking up going, where's my mom? So I... I'm going to tend to the little one. Thanks for watching and have a great day. I hope you enjoyed this video.